How you doing, Year Tens? Welcome to another video. This is 3.2. What are the types of chemical reactions we look at? Combination, decomp, combustion. Let's get into it. Okay, what are the types of chemical reactions? We look at combination reactions, decompositions, and combustion reactions in this video. Understandings and outcomes. We need to be able to write worded and balanced chemical equations for combination, decomposition, and combustion reactions. For the combustion reactions, you'll be given the information about the fuel so you won't have to remember them. A decomposition reaction. In a decomposition reaction, we have one reactant that breaks apart into two products. Usually, but not always, that one reactant will break apart into something plus an element, but that's not always the case. But it's when a single reactant breaks apart into a number of different products. That is a decomposition reaction, it decomposes. So for example, carbonic acid decomposes to form water and carbon dioxide gas. Write a worded and balanced chemical equation for this reaction. I'm going to skip the worded equation and go straight to the balanced chemical equation. So we have carbonic acid, H2CO3. That would be aqueous because acids are aqueous and we'll come across that later. Decomposes to form means we have our arrow and our, re our products are water and carbon dioxide gas. Water liquid, carbon dioxide gas. Is that balanced? Well, I have two hydrogens on the right, two hydrogens on the left, and the CO3, what happens is it breaks apart into the CO2 and the extra oxygen is in the water. So that's balanced. A combination reaction. A combination reaction occurs when two reactants combine to form a single product. This is kind of the opposite of decomposition. So we have A plus B, they combine to form AB, a single product. We could have three reactants, but if they combine to form one product, that is a combination reaction. So hydrogen gas and chlorine gas react to form hydro hydrogen chloride gas. We need to write a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. So we have hydrogen gas, H2, chlorine gas, Cl2, goes to HCl gas. And now we need to go through and balance. Remember, hydrogen is a gas, chlorine is a gas, and they told us that HCl will be a gas in this case. Now, I need to put a 2 out the front of the HCl because I need to balance for the hydrogens and the chlorines. A combustion reaction. This is a very important concept for you to remember, and I would suggest watching this slide a couple of times if you struggle with it first up. A combustion reaction is when you light an object on fire, you start to burn it. The object can be thought as a fuel and it's burning and that requires oxygen gas. A combustion reaction always produces carbon dioxide and water. So we have our fuel, we plus the oxygen and then it forms carbon dioxide and water. The oxygen's coming from the air. We describe that as a combustion reaction. So a Bunsen burner has methane from the gas tap, oxygen is added from the air, and it reacts to form carbon dioxide and water. We can write an equation for this. CH4 gas plus O2 gas forms carbon dioxide, CO2 gas, plus H2O liquid. Now there's a little bit of a trick to balance a combustion equation. We start off by balancing for carbon. So I've got one carbon on the left, one carbon on the right. Then I balance for hydrogen. I've got four on the left, so I need to double the amount of water. And then I look to balance the oxygens. And I have four oxygens on the right, and now I need to add four oxygens on the left, so I need two oxygens. D is an interesting little saying, and that stands for double, which we'll go over now. So some of the combustion reactions may be hard to balance depending upon the fuel being used. A little trick is to use the saying CHOD. CHOD stands for balancing for carbon first, balancing for hydrogen second, balancing for oxygen third, and then we apply D for double 
if we have an odd number of oxygens. Because on the left hand side, the reactant side, we can only add even numbers of oxygens. So if we have an odd number of oxygens, then we need to do something to fix that up. And we double everything. So here's an example of one where we need to apply D for double. Octane is the main constituent of petrol. In the car engine, oxygen undergoes combustion to form carbon dioxide and water. Write a balanced chemical equation for this process. So we have our octane, C8H18. You won't be asked to remember the formula. You'll be given it. That's our liquid. Because it's a combustion reaction, we add oxygen gas. That turns into carbon dioxide gas and water liquid. Now we apply the little saying, balance for carbon. So I have eight carbons on the left. I need to get eight carbons on the right, so I put an eight out in front of the CO2. Do the same for hydrogens. I have 18 on the left, so I have to have 18 on the right, so I have to add nine waters. Now the oxygens. On the right hand side I have 25 oxygens, and 25 is an odd number. So that doesn't work very well. So I take that odd number, stick it in front of the oxygen, so I have 25 oxygens, and then I double everything else, D for double. So I have two octanes now, 16 carbon dioxide and 18 waters. And that is now a balanced chemical equation. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time.